All right, now welcome to part two of the CSS layout tutorial. So here's our little sample site, our little Aspen Middle School site uh, layout. And uh, just a quick review here, we're going to create these five regions. You can see a, a, a header, a top nav, a left column, a right column, and a footer. So when we go back to Dreamweaver, and we've got our blank page here ready to uh, start creating, uh, I'm going to put in DIVs or um, uh, divisions, which are just, you can think of them as just kind of rectangular containers. If you're used to doing layout, uh, website layout in with tables, you can think of them almost like a cell of a table, except they're a lot more flexible. So I'm going to start out by um, just going up to the insert menu and down to layout objects, and you can see there's a DIV tag there that I can just click, it drops in. It wants me to put a little bit information with this div tag um, where it says ID. I'm going to name this one the wrapper. Now this rectangular container will be sort of the outer container that my other five regions will be inside of. So really, I'm going to put in six divs, one sort of container that will help me set the width of the whole page, um, and then the five regions inside. Okay, so there is uh, that dotted line. You can see that's sort of the symbolic dotted line around this container. And Dreamweaver drops a little bit of text in there. Uh, in this case, I don't need that, so I'm just going to delete that placeholder text out. You can see over here uh, in the code that it put that little div container in there with an ID of wrapper. And later on our CSS document, we'll define what this ID does, what wrapper, what instructions go with this idea of a wrapper. Okay, so the next thing I need to put in is a header, or the, the div for the header. Now I can go up to the insert menu again, or there are, um, over here on my layout, on my common toolbar, I can insert a div tag from here. So either way, I'm just going to use the insert layout object and div tag. So uh, under ID here, I'm going to name this one header. Now these are going to be case sensitive, so I'm going to make all of them lowercase. And I want to make sure it gets in the right place, so you can see I can control a little bit where it's going to insert. So um, right now, my cursor is right in the right place. Um, but if I wanted to make sure that this got inside the wrapper, I would say, hey, I want this after the start tag of, and then I could choose where I wanted it. So I want it after the start tag of the wrapper div. Click OK. And I can see that if I look over here in my um, HTML, I can see that here's where my wrapper starts, and I've got this uh, header div that is inside of it. Okay, I'll leave that text in there so I can get an idea of where it is. Okay, the next one I need is my top navigation. So I'm just going to click inside here and insert layout objects div tag again. And this is going to be my top nav, so I'm just going to name it my top nav. And now I want to be really careful where this ends up. I want it after the header, but still inside the wrapper. So if I look at my choices here, I want it after a tag, and then I'm just going to choose which tag I want it after. I want it after the header div, okay? The, after the closing one. So um, when I click OK, it'll go in there, and I want to look over here in my HTML, and I can see there's my header, and here is my top nav. The, the top nav didn't get inside the header, it got after the header, but it's still inside the wrapper, which is right there. Okay, let's do um, my left column. So again, I'm going to click inside here, and uh, click the insert button. This one is going to be just called left call, and I want to make sure that it gets after the top nav. Okay, and again, I just want to keep an eye over here on my HTML. So I'm going to put in another one. I actually just clicked inside that left call one, and I'm going to name this right column. And I want it to be after the left call tag. Okay, and I just have one more to put in here. So this one is the footer. And I want to make sure that it goes after my right column. Okay, so it looks pretty simple there. Um, I've got my 
my all of my let me just go all the way to code view here and you can see a little bit easier um, I've got all five of my DIVs here so these five rectangles and right now they're just stacked on top of each other and those are all inside of this wrapper DIV okay now a little bit of content that goes in here um, up here under where it says content for header goes in here I might type in here this is the Aspen um, Aspen Middle School um, for my top nav I'll put some fake links in here quick um, Oops, I'm going to make a little bulleted list and just put some um, little menu items here now once we get the style sheet associated with this um, we'll define these uh, oops we'll get this defined so that these links uh, that I'm putting in here are not vertical that they're horizontal because I want them to fit up there uh, let's see let's see if we make five of them here that's probably good and I'm just going to put placeholder links on these so if I just highlight it and come down to the link field and uh, I'm just going to type link one and it'll format it with the A tag but it, the link doesn't really go anywhere um, and if this layout works out I might come in and actually change this text to be the actual text and link these to actual HTML pages okay so I've got all of that in um, so left this left column information I'm just going to leave that there here under the right column it's most likely that I'll end up with some uh, that's where I'm going to have actual text so I'm going to put in a little bit of just placeholder text maybe just a couple paragraphs here um, just so I have some text in here and I can take out all my extra things and uh, down here where it says footer I'll leave that same text in there because the content for my footer is probably going to be there anyway okay so I have just put in uh, a little some placeholder information here so that as I'm I'm working on this I can get a little better idea of what it is going to look like okay so just to review um, I have added in uh, six divs so one div called the wrapper that's the outside box and then I stacked up five more uh, of these DIVs or these divisions just these rectangular containers I just stacked them one right on top of it another so header top nav left call right call and footer and I'm going to use CSS to define all the rest of the information about how these are going to look where they're going to appear on the page uh, and how they're going to associate with each other and that will be in part three